The 1965 Mini Cooper S is considered a performance version of the practical Mini Hatchback. It offered a naturally aspirated inline 4 1.3 litre with 76 horsepower and 79 foot pound of torque. Austin Minis were known for their reliability and very good go kart like handling, as well as absolutely minimal curb weight, and this being under 700 kilos was certainly very good. Compare that with today's Super Minis like the Fiat 500 which is about 200 kilos heavier and has about the same horsepower, this Mini already has a better power to weight ratio. A common upgrade for classic Minis was to give them a wide body kit just like this one's boots and this one also sports the same engine but with the upgraded internal so now it produces 114 horsepower and over 100 pound feet of torque. The front wheel drive layout in the stock Mini was very good as it could fit a rear seat passenger not with the most ease but you was able to get people back there and also have usable luggage space. This one has all wheel drive for better traction off the line. So consider this a Cooper RS if you will. It can do massive power slides and can accelerate quite well off the line but it obviously it tails off above 62 miles an hour. This fun souped up classic is even more lightweight, about 50 to 100 kilos lighter than standard. This all in a package should make this an ultra cool handling car. Unfortunately it doesn't have race tyres as I didn't want this to go above a performance index of class C. So the point of this was to make this a road legal racer and also set your trousers on fire in the corners. So let's see how it does on various tests and we'll kick it off with the top speed. Now let's check out his quarter mile. Let's see how this fruity mini does around the track. <laughs> Off we go, not with the tyres blazing start, we're already up to 60 miles an hour going around the first bend and keeping it flat, full throttle through there, really short gearing on this, fun driver 4.1 remember, maxing out the car now, and you can see it's not accelerating much faster than it is now, on this practice lap, slowing down, wrong gear there as I noticed on that corner. But you notice, look at the presence of it, how that wide body kit just gives it that slam stance. Really struggling to accelerate on this back straight, however it's more fun in the corners, it can maintain a really good speed. This is so easy to handle, so light, very little body roll. Nearly mess it up there, shift down because I was a bit nervous, but through that with ease and onto the main straight. Remember this isn't the best sort of track to test out this mini but hey ho, nearly up to 100 miles an hour and there it is and really revving it out using the most and into six gears, quite stressful at that point. So we've got a 1 minute 10.8 so that's quite far off what we usually do. And so we've fact five laps in and you see now how I just maintain that speed. Most cars that I've tested, even in a higher performance class like the A-Class ones, can't even get to that point, get to over 90 miles an hour on that first, but never mind that. Really slows down very quickly, goes through that corner, and you can't really see any discrepancy in speed. There's not really much change. You can definitely see that it's so easy to control. The handling is more than enough to take up even 200 horsepower, I'd say. 
And that's not the point, horsepower isn't the point, it's more about the driving dynamics, about making a perfect driver's car, and this is what I think it would be. Tuning a 60s car to its best sort of potential without the need of forced induction. And onto the back straight. 100 miles an hour reached much earlier than compared to the practice lap. And across the line in 1 minute and 6 seconds. And so we've got the top 10 on our leaderboard here, followed by 11 through to the 20th. But you'll see on here it is last, so 25th. However, this sort of indicates that it's not very far behind the 2000 GT, which had been resto modded, only a tenth of a second behind, which is incredible if you think about it. This Mini Cooper RS is touching heads with the Toyota GT 86 and not much slower than the Ford Capri, which has also been tuned, but it can't quite reach the Dodge Ram TRX, even though this car has about a seventh of the horsepower compared to the TRX, yet it is only three seconds slower. That is absolutely astonishing. Imagine on a more hardcore handling track, this would absolutely dominate, maybe even being faster than the four cars above it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.